The holiday season may be inspiring you to donate to your favorite cause, or maybe you're taking the time to make a donation for a last minute tax break before the year ends. Either way, you should be careful choosing where your money is going and making sure it's going to the right place, not the hands of a scammer. We talked with a real charity and a consumer advocate about what you should know. There's a lot of work behind the scenes before the Indy Public Safety Foundation can take one cent of your money. I think most people think it's a very easy process to not only start um, but also maintain a nonprofit, and it's a lot more challenging than most folks would expect. Dane Nutty is the foundation's executive director. He talked with us about all the work legitimate charities need to put in to be nonprofits. The IRS has pretty strict rules on how nonprofits operate, and we have to make sure that um, not only for our programs and for our community, but for our donors as well, that we adhere to those restrictions. But Tim Maniscalco with the Better Business Bureau says not everyone asking you for money this time of year has those same good intentions. People are giving this time of year, so the scammers know that, and they're trying to uh, play on uh, your good heart and get money from you. The BBB has a charity review section on their website in case someone comes to you asking for a donation. You're going to get emails, you're going to get things on social media, you're going to get things in the mail. Some of them are legitimate, some of them aren't, so be very, very careful if you get something unsolicited. But there's one thing you can ask for that charities are required to share. The best thing would probably be the IRS Form 990. That gives a really great amount of information on where we're spending our money, whether that's in overhead um, fundraising or in program itself, um, kind of the balance and the ratio between those, and then some of the programs that we offer and the impact that we're making. Nutty says if you ask to see a 990 and the charity starts making excuses, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's not a good sign either.